Hi, welcome back to a brand new video of the Target Individual Program, Target Individual Experience. So today, again, started getting the ice cream headache again. You know, like I said, I've been doing this cover. Uh, actually, looking at that. <laughs> anyway, bunch of clowns. Uh, and yeah, I was trying to turn around to look at the, um, you know, what do you, what do you call them? The, right here with the trees that is planted <laughs> in this little square uh, I don't know what you call it but anyhow um, yeah so like I said so they started again in a very covert way of using remote door monitoring and so today again though it wasn't as bad as the past couple of days you know Definitely felt it. It's definitely painful. Alright. And again, sending these uh, subliminal threats. Because I am going home tonight. You know, and Pam was mad at me this morning. I told I was going home today. Literally snapped at me. Alright. I'm in the bathroom. She's asking me something. I couldn't hear her. And I'm like, what you saying? And the chick got mad at me. Literally yell at me. I'm like, what the hell are you talking about? Like, what, what are you saying? I can't hear you. So she was like, where's the duck sauce? I'm like, Pamela's behind the counter. It's in the back counter, right? In the um, in the vase. Okay, I said, where you put them? You know, she's like, I, I'm, I'm, I'm late. I'm, I'm trying to get out of it. I said, well, don't blame me. I woke you up early enough. All right, but you want to lay in bed until you're ready to get up, and then you all of a sudden you're always in a rush. I said, You're never going to learn because you don't want to listen, you know. So, <laughs> you know, I just had to like shake my head. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, shit, imagine you're getting, a, you're getting mad with me because you're running late, right? I didn't make you late, you made yourself late. I sent, I sent our daughter to wake you up. I said, I woke up first and then. No, I think I sent a list of the week off, and then I went and I, about half an hour, about 50 minutes later, and I wake her up, and she laid in bed. She did not leave to get to work until after 9.30. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it's like I said, you know, it's, um, I, I think Ethan will be okay, as long as you do what I had asked him to do, which is to go to bed on time. When he gets up in the morning, if his clothes is not iron. Uh, actually, I think I'm going to iron this clothes tonight before I leave. And um, that way, you know, you can just leave in the morning, you know, because you got to work very early today. Um, you know, 10 minutes early, which is which is pretty good. And uh, I thought I got to school on time, of course. But, you know, it's the list I'm worried about. And when Ethan is gone, she has to wait on her, on her mother until she's ready. Okay? And usually... She, she doesn't get to school until uh, after 8.30 or even minutes to 9, sometimes after 9. It's just crazy. It really is crazy. But, like I said, you can't. I can't say nothing to her at all because, well, look, you got the New York credit department in the gas station. <laughs> I mean, it's a very odd place to park, but, you know. Ain't nobody, trust me, nobody run this red light, this green light, or this light, this inter... What do you call it here? This uh, traffic light, right? Nobody run this traffic light, okay? But yeah, they're over there. Alright? They're over there. It's 4 o'clock. I'm going to go pick up my daughter from uh, after school. Hey, you scoffing. <laughs> Anyhow. Yeah. So I was, you know, so I haven't heard from her all day. She hasn't called or nothing. Yesterday she was calling. Today, not a word. I ain't call her back. I ain't call her though. You know, because again, I know her mindset. I know the mindset very well. You know? She figure I am the only one that should be given while she's taken. You know? You know what I'm saying? Like I had to, I spent like a hundred and thirty dollars 
on food, groceries, and then I came back yesterday and I bought, was it yesterday? Uh, no, Sunday. Was it Sunday or Monday? Sorry, Monday. And uh, because she didn't want to cook, you know, so I've, I got uh, Popeyes for dinner. Right? It was like, it was over $30. Not once has she said, hey, Nigel, let me give you back half of the money. You know, she knows I'm in disability. She knows I got my bills to pay. She, does she care? Nope. She just want to take, 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 take. That's these, what, that's these women are today. And actually, they've been like that over the past two decades. They've been more about taking and not giving. And they think that we're supposed to do whatever it is that they, that they want. And we cannot say no to them. It, I just had the headache again. That is the mindset that they've been conditioned to have. So they get very, uh, when you're, they get very confused when, you, as a man, you say no to them, because they believe and they think and they feel that uh, as men we shouldn't say no to them, which is again ridiculous. Anyhow, talk to you guys in the clear.